welcome back to my channel so today i'm really excited because i'm doing like an afternoon slash nighttime routine video so you guys have been asking me to do this for a while but firstly i want to tell you i got a new vlog camera it's, it's clear and it focuses where it's meant to i don't have the best rap with technology you know when in high school when you'd spend all your time doing like an assignment or whatever and then your laptop just loses all your work that's pretty much like the story of my life <laughs> It's happened with YouTube videos, everything. So hopefully this camera is a lot more kinder to me. Still don't know how to use it, but anyway. So anyway, I wanted to share with you guys like the routine that I pretty much do every single afternoon and nighttime. Just keeps us more organized on top of, you know, witching out with the kids. So today is actually Monday, but as I said, yeah, I do this routine pretty much every afternoon. It just helps me get set up for the next day. So today the kids are at daycare. It's currently 4 p.m. And yeah, I'm pretty much going to start getting dinner sorted and then I want to pick them up in about 15 to 20 minutes. And then Ryan is at PT at the moment, so then he should come home. And also, obviously, with my meal prepping, dinners can be a lot quicker as well. But tonight we're having something a little bit different that you guys haven't seen me make before. It's actually on my vlog, but it's a really good, healthy dinner. Excited to show you that. And just like show you guys how like we wind down for the night, how I set myself up for my like early morning routine. I don't know, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And let's get into it. Now, I was originally going to just do a night routine, but I feel like my night routine kind of starts in the afternoon. I kind of wanted to show you guys how we keep our evenings not too hectic. Especially, you know what kids are like at witching hour? They just go crazy. But anyway, so that's why I kind of thought I'd start. It'd be like an afternoon, evening, night routine. <laughs> anyway, hopefully this works. This is a Sony vlogging camera and it comes with like this, well, you have to pay for it separately, but it has this little tripod. So the dinner I'm making tonight is healthy chicken parmigiana. So I'm gonna be getting it prepped and ready. So all I have to do is bake it in the oven. Um, if it's like a Thermomix recipe, which we do eat probably like four nights a week, I have a Thermo Saver, which is like a dish and it just keeps everything hot. Um, otherwise, I'll just keep it baking in the oven so it stays hot. Alright, so there's a couple of different ways you can make healthy parmigiana. I like to make like the mix instead of having like breadcrumbs. I like to use quinoa flakes and then almond meal, or you can use like a bit of panko breadcrumbs mixed with these as well. So I'm gonna do a mix of all of them today just so we can see how it goes. So yeah, normally I would use these two, um, but yeah, the panko breadcrumbs are a good option as well, or you can get um, like wholemeal breadcrumbs as well. So, and then basically I'm going to mix them together, coat the chicken breast in it and bake it in the oven and then make like a little healthy um, topping, like the Parmigiana. All right, so what you need for this recipe is passata sauce. Um, you can also use diced tomato, it doesn't really matter. A bit of tomato paste, I use the Legos one. And then you're gonna want, you know, your quinoa flakes, almond meal, and panko breadcrumbs, whatever kind of mix you wanna do, it doesn't really matter. And then I like to use a bit of oregano, and then we need an egg as well. And then also like topping on for the chicken breast, um, I'm gonna use a bit of ham, and then some cheese as well. So with that, you can kind of choose what you like. You can top it with a bit of salami, just depends what you prefer to do. coated and that is literally the most time consuming part of it um like hands-on time um so i'm just gonna pop it into the container i'm also gonna quickly prep the like, actual parmigiana sauce so i'm gonna quickly do that now All 
All right, so dinner's pretty much prepped. I'm gonna go pick up the kids up now. And that means I can literally just throw it in the oven and then put the topping on and then we're done. So that's really good. I've already prepped some sweet potato cubes as well for a side salad. Um, I do that part of our meal prep and it just honestly makes life so much easier. So I'll literally throw some spinach, some sweet potato, um, maybe some goat's cheese or something on top and then that's dinner. So yes, I'm gonna go pick up my little monkeys. <music> home but yeah I don't always make the kids a little snack like it just depends on how close dinner is and how hungry they are how's the gym very tiring yeah <laughs> usually what happens time. when you go to the gym but yeah First time. I'm doing my um, afternoon and night routine for the fam so the YouTube fam don't I just sleep <laughs> what'd you do today I'm you just speak yogurt all over me <laughs> <laughs> thank you no. thank you What'd you do today? It's this my mouth. Oh yeah. With the speed of light we cross the stratosphere. So the chicken's in the oven, the kids are outside on the trampoline, so I'm gonna go head out with them now. I also soak the kids' lunch boxes at the moment too. I pop their bags away. Um, we'll all have dinner. We might eat it outside, actually. We have like a bit of a outdoor sitting area, which we do like to use more in summer, because it's a really nice day. And yeah, it's quite nice out here. The girls are getting a bit older. They both go to bed at 7.30, where Willow used to go to bed more like 6.30. So yeah, it's good. We kind of get to have a bit more time with them after school as well, which is good. And also, as you guys saw, when we get home from daycare, they tend, you know, like, it's like witching hour. So I tend to put the Trolls music on. Um, we have like a Google Hub. Not sponsored, I bought it myself. And it plays around the whole house because I bought some more like Google Minis and the kids get like really happy and they dance. I promise you, not every afternoon goes smoothly, but having music on and just having some snacks ready to chuck on a plate really, really helps. Oh, wow. 
tidy up downstairs. Ryan and I help each other put the dishes away or one of us will put the kids to bed and then the other one will do the dishes. We kind of decide what we feel like. Obviously the playroom wasn't a bomb and the lounge room wasn't a bomb because they've been at daycare. So those days take note. We have to do a big clean up of toys and stuff just like everybody else. Pass me by. The reason why I shine. You're the reason why. songs to make them do things quicker. It's really cute. Night night. Night night. Love you. Raj is downstairs making the kids lunches. We kind of just take turns at it. it. Depends on if who has a little bit, bit more energy they are in the afternoon. Um, so he's doing that for us. And then I'm gonna have a shower, do my skincare. And then I'll show you guys how we kind of unwind and like how I get myself set up to have like a productive next day. And how, I don't know, just how I get myself ready for like an early morning routine again. Anyways, I want you guys to know that the kids do have meltdowns they lose their shit they lost their shit this afternoon but for me and as a parent just being on a platform like this like i prefer like i don't want to film my kids having meltdowns and stuff because i just don't feel like like personally i just feel like it's not fair to them like you know what i mean so i'm not gonna go grab my camera and film it it's just you know we're parents too and we're just showing you parts of it but remember that it is so normal for your kids and for you to lose your shit it's fine so as you guys know, we like to do the delayed start hack in this family, which is a lot of washing machines have it. So it's the delayed start function here. This makes life a lot easier. So I usually set it for eight hours or probably nine hours. And then yeah, you just press start and then it will just wait nine hours and then start and then it's all ready to go. It's just a lot easier that way. Mr. Pace doesn't like to watch true crime, which is very disappointing. <clears throat> I love that. But I get scared <laughs> last night, remember when I came in? So I get scared. I <laughs> if it's daylight, I still love watching it, but some, like I'm watching it, I'm watching The Night Stalker at the moment. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go on Netflix. Um, and it's really bad. And it's a, quite a graphic documentary where some, most documentaries aren't super graphic. Anyway, so I usually go upstairs and watch that. Mine's into this show called Vikings, so he watches that. Um, we got a Nintendo Switch and we were playing Mario Kart like every afternoon for ages, which was really good. It was a good way to switch off. So we need to get back into Mario Kart, I think. I remember the day when we started talking. We were kids and I knocked down all of your marbles, but you... As you guys know, I've been using Lust for years now. So I use this to cleanse my face. I do a double cleanse, which I've already done in the shower. And then I follow with the three serums, which is the hyaluronic acid, then the vitamin C, and then the rejuvenation oil. And then when that's all soaked in, I finish off with the peptide cream. All of these together, like I'll just link you guys to my skincare routine below, but they all serve a really good purpose each, like hydration, brightening, and then that's like a all over skin treatment and then this is really good for smoothing um, and like toning the skin as well there's too much to be done it's no fun but even if we're far apart i know where we belong haven't changed a bit in my heart your words have never been wrong Alright, so now 
the kids are in bed and my third child is playing Mario Kart. I like to grab my planner out and I just kind of like setting up the next day. So I'll quickly just go through anything I have to do. It just, I don't know, it really helps me like mentally prepare. If it's a crazy day, if I'm like, I've forgotten to do something today, um, I go through there. Um, and sometimes I'll even fill out my to-do list or I just do in the morning. But yeah, so I'm gonna quickly do that now. And then I also pack my work bag. So I pop everything I need in there pretty much. And then I basically just get snacks prepared, which have already been meal prepped. So then I can just chuck that together in the morning, which is super easy. So yeah, basically the only things I have to do in the morning is get up, go to the gym, come home and then kind of start the day. But even if we're far apart, I know where we belong. Haven't changed a bit in my heart. relax and watch some Netflix which basically means crime show so my little hack is all my like comfy stuff as you guys would know I hide behind the couch so I've got Garfield if you follow me on Instagram you don't know about Garfield he's like the comfiest blanket he used to be Ryan's and I used to give him crap about it and now I'm like obsessed with him now we all just want like Garfield to cuddle so we put that on the couch <laughs> And then I'm going to drink this is my moon milk from Naked Harvest. Helps me unwind. So I usually watch like my show, which is crime, and Ryan watches his show. We do it for like 45 minutes to an hour, and then we both um, go to bed and watch a show together. And then I read. I remember the day when we started talking. We were kids, and I knocked down all of your marbles, but you did not see. So this is a new book I'm reading. I've only just opened it. So I'm going to start reading it tonight. So yeah, I put on the diffuser and then I do try and, you know, get off my phone at a decent time. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you next week. Bye.